guys welcome to the channel hi girls we need to talk <laughs> girls as you know on this channel we discuss so many things my name is tessie you know and on this channel we discuss viral topics my lifestyle better comes black women and more so grab yourself a glass of something nice and come sit down with me and let's have a discussion i've got here ginger beer this is greg's favorite drink in the whole world right and I've got a bag that he bought for me last year. As you know, Greg has bought a lot of things for me. He loves buying me things. I'm a very spoiled baby girl. So, girlies, it's our two year anniversary. It's our two year anniversary next month. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's been two years already. You know, when you're just having fun and you're in a, a wonderful relationship, you don't even notice the time is flying by. Now, as you girls know, Greg proposed to me six months ago and that was only a year and four months into our relationship. So it wasn't even that long ago, right? So yeah, a lot's been happening. We don't really know what to do for our two year anniversary, honestly. Um, and we are still thinking about where we want to go for our honeymoon, whether we're going to go to Japan or somewhere like that, you know, maybe Iceland. I don't know. So yeah, you guys can put like suggestions below, like good honeymoon destinations. I'd love to see some of your suggestions. Um, but we need to talk. Girlies, we need to talk. Apparently, I've been exposed. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies, I need to get my nails done. Just don't be looking at the nails, okay? I'm about to go and get my nails done. But yeah, apparently, I've been exposed. Oh my God. <sighs> exposed, 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 exposed. Okay, I need to chill and not make a, a song out of that. <laughs> but yeah, apparently, I've been exposed. Now, as you guys know, I've mentioned some of the fucking lunatic weirdos. And ladies, there will be a little bit of swearing in this. I don't normally swear, but there will be, so warning. You know, there are some lunatic weirdos making videos on me. <sighs> Pathetic little things. I've mentioned them. One of them is a guy who sleeps with prostitutes. Probably got more STDs than degrees. And the other one is a rejected passport bro who looks like a swollen corpse. <laughs> okay let me not be too mean but recently there was another one and li listen ladies like i said i never watch any of the videos that are made on me because i don't care but it is really easy to go and check the channels of these people and yeah these people are rejected throwaway little things i'm not even trying to be horrible but they are it is what it is but the most recent one and li ladies these people are obsessed with me they are obsessed with me and greg oh my god they lurk on my channel like little lurkers everybody knows that you lurk on my channel and you watch my content because you're obsessed and you always will be obsessed because it hurts you to see black women enjoying and living their lives so there's one recently right who made a video on me which i've not watched but this particular one is so obsessed that they found me on another youtube channel <laughs> can you imagine the the fucking lunatica found me on another YouTube channel and started responding to me. You've been exposed. You've been exposed. I really want to know what you think you've exposed. Where have you exposed other than your rotting, disease-ridden ball sack? What do you think you've exposed? At the end of the day, I still have the diamond carrots on my finger. My wedding ring has been chosen. I have here the keys in front of me to my property which is fully paid off. I am a property owner, my investment property at 28. I live in my gorgeous, very nice apartment, right? I'm even, I don't even have to pay the deposit for my next apartment. My landlord is giving me free rent in my new apartment as a wedding gift. That is crazy, right? Never mind the fact that my fiance loves me to bits. He loves me so much. I am doing so damn well at 28 years old okay financially i'm up here romantically i'm up here right so what do you think you've exposed hmm what do you think you know about me and greg's relationship tell me i really want to know i'm super curious to know hurry up i'm waiting be fast with it what do you know about me and greg's relationship what do you know <laughs> listen ladies let me tell you what they've exposed I'll give you a long list of what they've exposed. They've exposed 
how much they kill black women in your communities. They've exposed that they kill black women so much that there's an actual statistic on the frequency of it. They've exposed, right, that they make every single race of woman into a baby mama. You will probably end up a baby mama if you get with these type of guys. And you'll be poor too. They've exposed the high poverty rates in their communities. They've exposed the high illiteracy rates. They've exposed the abuse rates, the domestic violence rates. That's what they've exposed. And they've also exposed how deeply they are obsessed with my channel. Because many of them make videos and then they come and start saying, she's making the comments up. I don't need to make comments up of black male trolls. This is who you are. I've seen many of you do this on other people's channels. It's not just mine. I'm not the only interracial couple in the world. Obviously, there are plenty of interracial couples. And I've seen many of you post comments like this on many other content creators and interracial couples. This is who you are. It's what you do. It's who you are. It's in your blood. Because you feel inferior. And look, listen, I'll get all these, I'll get all this. Black men don't care about you. Black men don't care about you. Listen, you are not a prize. That is why many of you come on my channel and call my fiance master and oppressor. Some of you even come and start saying you're sent by God to come and educate me that I'm leaving the line of David or some other nonsense crap like that. You are not a prize. Any woman can date you. Financially, your levels are low. You are not a prize. I dated black women, black men, sorry. <laughs> I dated black men all my life. And it's not hard to date you. Most black women date black men. It's really not difficult, right? How? It's not difficult. My ex loved me very much. And my ex was a black man. In fact, my ex still watches all of my uh, WhatsApp videos. I'm pretty sure he still likes me. You know, he wished me and Greg well at the wedding because we saw each other at the wedding. But I'm pretty sure he still likes me. Listen, at the end of the day, these people are obsessed. And they come on my channel and they're too lazy to even check my community tab. Nobody's faking any comments. Me and Greg, we don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> we don't care. My channel is literally for black women. It's not for you. But you are so obsessed when you see me living good and you see me enjoying my life and being treated well that you come on my channel and write your rim, 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 as if you can change anything. You can't change anything. How many of you have I blocked because you're obsessed with me and you lurk on my channel? You lurk on my channel like voyeurs straight out of prison. It's honestly hilarious, right? And I think it's my fault because I actually haven't been doing enough to moderate the channel. Um, so I need to make sure that this is a safe space. And since many of these fuckwit weirdos are too obsessed with my channel to not comment, I'm going to have to start really blocking. I was blocking a lot before, but I got too busy. I'm just too busy. I don't even make videos up to 30 minutes anymore. Like the videos that I make that are more than 30 minutes are usually vlogs, you know, but sit down videos. I don't even make videos up to 15 minutes these days. I'm busy. I'm planning a wedding. Listen, two weddings my parents were in nigeria recently for six months and it's because they were building the house and making sure that everything is finalized for our traditional wedding as you guys know me and greg are going to be flying down our whole families our friends everything and greg is going to be paying the buy price and i'm super excited about everything right and that's just for the traditional wedding what makes it even more funny is that they try to insinuate that they know about greg's family and they know what Greg's family thinks of me. Listen, our parents are super happy over our union. One of the reasons I'm so grateful and I'm enjoying my life so much is because my parents are proud of me. And Greg's parents are proud of us. When I first met Greg's mom, she was so excited. She gave me a hug and she met me. And she was like, oh my God, thank you. Even Greg's aunt, she gave me a hug and she thanked me, right? Greg had never introduced any woman to his mum other than me. And he'd never asked any woman to marry him other than me. He knows exactly what he wants. Right? So at the end of the day, I need these weirdos to stop coming on my channel and stop begging for my attention. Because they love tagging me in videos. They like tagging me in their little shitty videos. As if that's going to change anything. What do you think your video is going to change? Do you think it's going to change anything? What do you think you can do? Can't even stop yourself from being killed by the police like dogs on the road. What do you think you can do? 
What do you think your video is going to do? What do you think it's going to change? Absolutely fuck all. Fuck all. Listen, black ladies, at the end of the day, this channel is for you. And it's not just for black ladies, it's for ladies in general. Because you don't have to just be a black woman to understand my message. At the end of the day, this is your dating pool. This is what you have to pick from. And this is why many, many women are leaving dating apps. They're leaving Bumble. They're going celibate. Because who on earth wants to deal with trash like this? We all know what they're like, right? So I, this is my promise to you, black, black women on my channel. I am going to moderate this channel hard. And any weirdo obsessed, in, and, and that includes the, the weirdos that might come on this channel and comment on this video, they will be blocked. And lunatic, whoever you are, you exposed fuck all. You need to go and expose the poverty rates in your country and you need to go and expose your inferiority complex when it comes to black women in relationships that are interracial, especially if they're with white men or Asian men. Go and expose that. Go and expose your domestic violence. Go and expose your abuse and femicide of black women. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm off to play tennis with my fiance. He's coming home to give me flowers. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I will see you later. Don't forget to like.